Ron the Black Dragon Van Cleef is the founder of Chinese Goju Karate and holds black belts in 10 different martial arts. At 51 years of age, he is not only the oldest competitor in the Ultimate Fighting Championship, he is also a living legend. I'm Ron Van Cleef, the Black Dragon from New York City. I'm 51 years old and I've been practicing martial arts for 40 years, longer than any of these participants have been alive. I'm here to test myself and I'll do my very best at the UFC. 28-year-old Hoist Gracie is the only fighter to have been in all four Ultimate Fighting Championships and has won two of them. Tonight, he'll be trying to reclaim his title. Hi, I'm Hoist Gracie. I'm from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I was here in the first, second, and third tournament. Now I'm back to prove that my family style is the best. Winner of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Quick look at the tail of the tape. Obviously, the big difference is in the age. 24 years, the junior is Hoist Gracie. And we are underway. Here's the double leg. He's going to take him down. Gracie's got him to the canvas quickly, and this is usually where he forces his opponent to submit or works quickly with a chokehold. He's in very, very tight. You can see Van Cleef trying to grab his hair. It's not going to work. Gracie right now is basically resting. Gracie very comfortable on the canvas. And it happened to Van Cleef so quick as Gracie took him down. You know, in a way, Bruce Van Cleef opened himself for this when he did that kick. Gracie caught the leg. That's what he's known for. He waits for his opponent to extend himself towards him. Then he rushes, crowds, takes him to the ground, to the mat here. Oh, that was a decent knee by Van Cleef. Blocked a little bit by Gracie's arm. And once he gets you here, he'll work very slowly and methodically. He's trying not to spend too much energy. He'll work to either get a submission hold on an elbow or go for the choke. Gracie continues to dominate on the canvas. Well, what you're seeing right now is the ball constrictor. He doesn't like that particular nickname, but he moves like one. And this is perfect for him because he can conserve his energy. Because I know last time he got totally dehydrated, totally was fatigued. It's a matter of time, I think, fellas. Gracie wearing down his opponent, just working slowly on the canvas. There's a punch to the body, just to the inside. He'll rabbit punch until he brings the arm down. Van Cleef, when he goes to defend his ribs, that's when Gracie will move up and start to attack the head. Van Cleef in amazing shape for 51 years of age as the Gracie camp looks on. Almost two minutes in. Gracie usually does quick work. His first seven opponents fell in a total time of just under 11 minutes. You can see him just taking his time. He's not going to rush this. He realizes he's in very good control. He's an expert at this manta position in wrestling. We call this grapevine. Oh, some serious shots, to, elbow shots to the head. And he'll just keep softening him up until Van Cleef either gets frustrated and does something stupid, or he's going to roll to his stomach to avoid blows, and that's when he goes for the choke. Van Cleef showing great heart. Trying to move, trying to flip Gracie off of him, but unable to do so. And in that position, you want to have your legs on the outside, which Van Cleef doesn't have. Again, Gracie hitting to the back of the head. This is very fatiguing for Van Cleef. He really can't get off any shots. He's holding the gi of Gracie to keep him away from him, to keep no distance between them so Gracie can't get off those kinds of shots. Gracie wants separation. He wants to sit up and then be able to deliver strikes directly down. Gracie, who won a long savage bout with Kimo in UFC 3, but was unable to fight his next match. He's trying to get revenge tonight. There it is. He's turned over. Now you look for the choke. Gracie, a master of the choke. It's like Jim said, it's like a boa constrictor. If you move a little bit, he cinches it that little bit tighter. And it just goes on and on and on. The blows to the head, get that head in position, get that arm under to get the choke hold. The Gracie family. Rudy Amar. Referee Big John McCarthy right on top of the action. He can't stop the fight. That's it. Tap that is all. 
Boyce Tracy opens up with a victory.